now two part story about story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a girl that had a lot of makeup. So she went to extraordinary measures to organize and make sure everything was perfect. Hi guys, it's your girl Renee Carlson, Seattle MUA Renee on Instagram. We are here for part two of my beauty room and kind of going into a little bit more detail on where everything is from. You guys asked for this. This is actually my favorite little Bluetooth speaker. It actually has a shitload of sound that comes out of this. I love it. I've tried other ones, even that people have recommended to get off Amazon. I've tried like the little angel one and this is the best one. And it's like 20 bucks. It's about five years old, Diva Ring Light. It is also on Amazon and I believe I paid like around $175 for it, but I've never had to change the bulbs. I've moved. I've never had any bad experiences with it not working or breaking. These are the Alex drawers from Ikea. They have the nine drawer set, which I have two of those and there's not much in that closet. I do work with Sunny Cosmetics. Um, you might see one of my videos on their pages or on their website. I do have an affiliate code with them. I'll leave it on here. I'm really not the type to do that, but you know, things have changed so much, like being on the Instagram platform and now trying to do YouTube and learning YouTube all on my own and edit my own videos. It's a whole other ball game. This is the eyeshadow one. I have my MAC eyeshadows, some limited edition, and then I have a ton of the Super Shock shadows from ColourPop, and they're also overflowing in the back there as it does give you a little bit of room to this drawer uh kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense it makes sense to me but i love the stila cosmetics one in fact this is actually one of my favorite colors there we go so i have a lot of single shadows and kind of just some randy randy <laughs> random random luxury eyeshadow this is dun 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 my kind of luxury brand lipsticks let's get down here so these are this is almost kind of embarrassing to go to this detail but you guys asked for it so here we are once again i have all my ysl the lip oils you guys have heard me talk about how much i love those before then they continue right here all of the round ones the rouge pour oh i don't know the fancy french name that they have and then I have a bunch of the square, you know, lipsticks. I know number 10, I forget the shade name. I'll try to put it on the screen, but you know the one I'm talking about. It's like a peachy beige. It is still one of my absolute favorites. I'll try to pull it out and insert it in. <laughs> that sounded really bad too. <laughs> uh, moving on, we have Chanel, then I have some Givenchy, some Dior, then we move into some Pat McGrath, 
Charlotte Tilbury. We got some Tom Ford. We got some Gucci. We got a little fancy fans. This is actually a partial unit that is not working out so well, to be honest, for these Too Faced lipsticks. And then I have some of the Tarte ones back there. These, there is no organizer. This is just straight palettes in drawers. I do have a lot of palettes. Uh, I'm going to have to do like a declutter video. I know a lot of you guys actually requested that so too. So I have all of my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I do believe I have every eyeshadow one that was ever. Remember the Amory Z? Who remembers this one? This had the original, I'm not going to be able to pull it out with my hand, but it has that original uh, peach, soft peach. I had these when I was young, when I should have been on YouTube, but I just kept them with me all this time. And then I also have some larger palettes back there that just won't fit. I do have different videos, older videos, that has my whole bronzer collection or my whole highlighter collection. I have all those videos on my channel, but here's another just perfect drawer. <laughs> This has all my limited edition MAC lipsticks. I kind of have a MAC shrine. By the way, you guys, I just want to note for the record that this is an insane amount of makeup and in no way am I trying to show off or say that, you know, I'm better off than anyone else because I'm not. And if you saw, like the rest of my life, or even the rest of my townhome, you would know that things maybe that you see online or that you see in someone's collection, it doesn't mean that they are rich. <laughs> so my mock collection, a lot of you guys might also remember three years ago, I did have my entire MAC limited edition collection stolen when I moved. I did get the police involved and basically there was nothing they could do because I didn't have renter's insurance. So don't do that. Little lesson learned today. I have, this is just kind of random blushes. I do have a whole other, and this is mainly drugstore items. So I do plan on doing a drugstore favorites video. So, you know, stick around, subscribe if you want to. This is from Target, but it's actually one set of three drawers that I just stacked the other set of three doors without actually anchoring it to the wall i don't recommend the other week it started to kind of just lean like lean back and uh, so that can't be good this is from for her vanity i mentioned her shop and her business in my last video but definitely check her out. These were made for me from Glitter Madness. Susie, she makes the cutest little holders. So I will link her shop below. You gotta have some Starbucks tumblers. Who would you be from Seattle if you had no tumblers from Starbucks in your beauty room? It's like, you know, I try to represent. This shoe rack, I believe a shoe and purse rack, is from Amazon. Go figure. This, I believe I got at Target. It does light up, although I've never seen it lit up before. So that'd be fun to do one day. Allegory, that is where these are from. They do sell Allegory on Amazon. Then I just have a overflow 
of palettes down there. And I even stacked people that don't really like each other together in hopes of ending the drama in the beauty community. It is just crazy out there. I'm trying to just stick to what I'm doing. I find myself going in the rabbit hole of watching the drama channels on YouTube. Yep, I am admitting that. I do not remember my mom got this for me as a gift, but I have some lipsticks, MAC lip glosses, then we have some NARS and mini Kylie's. These, I don't have anything in there. I love marble, so my mom just bought me this from Home Goods. And I just got to show you one thing because I was surprised. It holds the Marc Jacobs uh, lip glosses and it even holds the Buxom ones, which as we know, they are very large. For my next video, I am going to be throwing in a new giveaway. So this will be brand new. This is just a sneak peek. I wanted to give you guys just a little, you know, something to look forward to. If you have any other questions for me on anything that you saw in the room that maybe I didn't talk about enough, then just let me know. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on this giveaway that will be going up probably at the rate I'm going, maybe even a few days. I love you. And I will talk to you guys in my next video where you will see my face. My face will be back and we'll have a giveaway.